Well, when it comes to selling a house, most of us rely on real estate agents to do the footwork, but when it comes to buying, we're often on our own. Now, more Australians are using buyer's agents to level the playing field, a sought-after service that comes at a price. A big backyard with room to grow. Felicity Bewley found her dream home with a little help. It was very appealing to us to be able to outsource you know, the biggest financial decision of our lives <laughs> to someone who um, is a professional. While buyer's agents have long been the norm in the US, now they're gaining popularity here among time poor Aussies. If sellers have a professional representing their interests, why shouldn't buyers have that level playing field? Armed with their clients' criteria, buyers' agents do the footwork, trawling for properties, weeding out underquoters, fronting heated auctions and negotiating on your behalf. For Felicity, that meant less of this and more of this. In the end, it only took 16 days and we were able to move and set up our family home. But help comes at a price. We have a fixed fee uh, format uh, for your budget range and that equates to roughly one to one and a half percent. So the pricier the property, the bigger the fee. Up to $20,000 for a full service on million dollar plus properties. Before using a buyer's agent, check their credentials and get feedback from previous customers. Also insist on written disclosure on how they're being paid, so you know they're working solely in your interests. Are they being paid by a developer who's selling an off-the-plan apartment or house and land package? Are they being paid by another selling agent? For Felicity though, it paid to pay. Houses now in this area are selling for 200, 300,000 more than what we paid five months ago. Remember, even with help, still take time to research your next property. Helen Wellings.